Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to show our second example of how to use that technique of substitution for y over x uh, to solve a differential equation like this. Again, this one you cannot solve initially by separating the variables. It won't work, but if you make a clever substitution, it will work. And at the same time, at the end, we'll also show you how to check your solution to see if you got indeed the right uh, solution for the equation. So the first thing we're going to do is divide both sides by x and see what we get. So when we do that, we divide the left side by x, we divide the right side by x, what do we get? We have y prime is equal to, this would be 1 plus y over x. And now we say, okay, y over x, we can make substitution for that. We can let u equal y over x. Of course, when you do that, you can then say that y is equal to u times x. And y prime, which is the same as dy dx, is equal to the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is du dx. In other words, dy dx can be written as u plus x du dx. So when we make those substitutions back in this equation, then on the left side we end up with u plus x times du dx is equal to 1 plus, instead of y over x, we write u. And now we have an equation that we, where we can separate the variables. We can do that by noticing that we have a u on both sides, so we can subtract the u from both sides. And then we can say that uh, we have, we can put the dx over there, we could put the x down here. To make it easier to see that, let me rewrite the equation. So we have x times du dx is equal to 1. So that means that du is equal to, put the dx over here, put the x down there, and now we can go ahead and integrate both sides of the equation. So integrate the left side, integrate the right side. So here we have u is equal to, this would become the natural log of x, plus a constant of integration. Okay, what do we do now? Well, you might be tempted to use the analog of both sides. However, I think at this point, what we could do is substitute back for u, and write this as y over x is equal to the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. And then when we put the x on the other side, we can say that y is equal to x times the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. And let that be our solution to the original differential equation. Now we say, well, how do we know we're correct? Well, one thing you could do is you could substitute this back in the original equation and see what we get. So the original equation was as follows. The original equation was x times y prime is equal to x plus y. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute for y prime the derivative of this. So let's calculate the derivative of that and see what we get. So if y, if the solution is equal to x times the natural log of x plus a constant, then dy dx is equal to the first times the derivative of the second, which would be 1 over x, plus the second, which is the natural log of x, times the derivative of the first, which is 1, plus, of course, the derivative of a constant is 0, which means that dy dx, dy dx can be written as 1 plus the natural log of x. So, coming back over here, we can then write x times y prime, which is 1 plus the natural log of x, is equal to x plus y, and y here is x times the natural log of x plus a constant. So x plus uh, y, which is x times the natural log of x plus a constant. All right, so now let's work out both sides a little bit more. So we have uh, on the left side x plus x times the natural log of x is equal to x, x plus x times the natural log of x plus a constant of integration, of course, the constant of integration on the right side, that could be any number, could be zero, could be any number, depends upon the initial conditions. But this shows that indeed the left side does equal the right side, and therefore we can say that this is a solution to the original differential equation. And of course, the constant of integration, that can be any number, and so therefore we know that checks out okay. And that's how we use that technique, again, to solve the equation that at first didn't appear to be able to be solved using the first order differential equation technique of separation of variables until we make the simple substitution u equals y over x. And that's how it's done.
online. Here's our third example of how to, no, it's our second example. 